Hey, Triple J here from Buddy Automotive Innovations. Uh, believe it or not, it is, in fact, 2.37 a.m. on Wednesday, May 18th. And I'm proud to say that I've just uh, certified the release candidate for a version 5 software on the Bid Buddy. Uh, at the release candidate state, uh, which means that every bug that we know about has been fixed, every feature that we want to release has been completed, and every feedback that we've received from our customers has actually been implemented as well. So things are looking in great shape. Uh, provided there's no major uh, catastrophes in the next week, we do expect to release uh, and certify the software for release on next Wednesday, May 25th, for our existing customers and start uh, getting those new customers installed as well. So things are looking great. What I wanted to do today was actually uh, just show you a couple of the things that we've implemented from the feedback that we received so far from our beta customers, just to show how things uh, quickly things are moving. So. As we've seen before, this little news flash pops up every time now. It's going to show you uh, what's been changed if, if an update comes in now. And we'll have updates posted quite regularly. And most of the updates will only take you a few seconds to download first thing in the morning to get you that new stuff going on. So one of our great uh, feedback features has been about uh, filtering our vehicle list here by the QCI score. Because we've got 202 vehicles at this auction, we know we're not going to look at 202 of them. So I can actually set this up to like 50%, and you'll see that this number of cars goes down as I adjust that. So at 50%, we've got 89 cars to look at. If I go up to 60%, we're down to 58, and I can keep on going here. So this is a great quick way to filter this list down and to get, uh, get to where you want to go a little bit faster. If we actually go into a car here, we'll show you a couple new things that we've done as well. I'm actually going to go into uh, this uh, hood right here. And one of the things that I had forgotten to put in for some stupid reason uh, was the actual uh, date last priced from your inventory system. So that's showing in here as well now for you. Another thing we did add is the quantity on hand as a request from one of our customers. So we got the quantity on hand showing in this uh, part screen as well. And if I go ahead and select out this engine, because there's multiple choices, if I say it's this uh, quantity 6 right there showing up for us as well. So that's great right there. Also, because of the feedback, we have added back in the COGS feature. So you can either do your bid by the adjusted overhead method, which is the preferred and recommended way of doing a bid in BidBuddy, or you can bid up by COGS, which is more of a traditional way of thinking as far as doing your cost of goods. And you can switch back and forth between those right away. I've also added a little thing here as well on the adjusted overhead, which gives you the effective COGS percentage. So it does other calculation for you to let you know that the adjusted overhead method is figuring basically a 37% cost of goods on this vehicle, where the COGS is giving a set uh, value from your settings. So those are a couple of the new features that we've uh, implemented into uh, version 5 so far since we've been in beta. And I also wanted to uh, just mention quickly that um, uh, handheld status. We've you know had some multiple people talking about the version 4 handheld and, and all that good stuff. So uh, our official position on a handheld at this point is that we are going to support the version 4 handheld as it's been uh, in the past. And you can actually use that right inside of V5 here. So I can actually send my list of cars from the auction right to the handheld, just as we've done in the past in the, in the Quick Counts Index program. That will send the auction list right to the handheld. And you can actually uh, import your data from the handheld into the V4 reports. You cannot, however, you cannot import the data from the handheld back into the BidBuddy PC, you know, version 5 here, where you can actually call it up again in here. It's only going to stay in the V4 reporting module here. And these are all the V4 reports from all your previous auctions, if you've got any saved, that you want to recall. And we can also send history to the, to the Pocket PC, just like when you run your parser in V4. This will give you that data file to send to your handheld. If you got the remote bidder, you can also do that right here as well. So if you're familiar with those kinds of things, they're there for you. If you're not, you don't have to worry about them, obviously. So our official position is to kind of maintain and support the version 4 handheld as we've had in the past. What we plan to do in a month or two after everyone we've got everyone upgraded and have a chance to look at V5, review the features, we're going to go with a survey out to our customers and see who's find, we're going to find out who's using a handheld, who wants to maintain the handheld, or who's really looking at switching over to a tablet or a netbook or a notebook PC. So, you know, 
the uh, BitBuddy version 5 software will run on any Windows based machine basically you can have your PC, you can have a notebook, you can have a netbook, you can have a tablet as long as it's Windows based we'll have BitBuddy running on it so look forward for that survey after we get the release out as far as what we're going to be doing with the handheld but definitely the V4 handheld will be supported as it's going forward so that's been our quick little video for today we will have another one posted tomorrow on Thursday and we hope to, I will be doing a video for Tuesdays and Thursdays through the end of the month. And uh, just keep tuned to see what's going on in BidBuddy version 5. And we thank you.